Hey everybody, uh, Steve Paputis here, executive producer for Dead Space 2. I'm actually evil Steve today, I have my goatee going, I'm in much more of a casual mode, very stoked on the game coming out, love all the feedback from everybody, um, we're super blown away by just, you know, the great response critically the game's getting, and uh, thank you guys for supporting the game. So, uh, got the old helmet here, and uh, let's go ahead and see what kind of questions I need to answer today. David Schwamborn asks, Have you finished the hardcore mode, and have you tips? Well, David, I've played through Dead Space 2 probably, I don't know, I'm going to say 30 times or so. When we're making the game, we get builds quite regularly, almost daily, so it's been difficult for me to actually play through hardcore mode, uh, because when we're making the game, there wasn't a day where I could have the same build and keep going. Um, I do plan to get through hardcore mode. Uh, I, you know, on my retail copy that I have at home, I actually already finished it on the hardest difficulty out of the box, which is Zealot. Uh, no problem for me, by the way. But uh, hardcore mode, I have not undertaken that challenge. But I do know the strategy that I'm going to use, and that is to first and foremost upgrade my hit points and then upgrade my stasis so that I'm fully ready to go. Focus on those two things and then strategically plan out my saves. I'm hoping to be able to get to about chapter 5 for my first one, probably throw one down around 10, and then we'll see where uh, my last save goes. But that's kind of my plan for that, David. Thanks. Mickey Wallington asks, What happened to making big bosses in the new game, like the Leviathan in the Hive Mind in the first? Exclamation mark, question mark. Well, Mickey, um, we didn't feel that the story really required that. Being that this was kind of a man-made generated marker, it didn't really call for us to pull in a big creature like we had on the Ishimura. We felt that the variety of enemies and different encounters we set up throughout the game kind of uh, had the same kind of payoff and added to the fun for players. So while those bosses were really great in Dead Space 1, we're really happy about what we did in Dead Space 2. Hopefully you enjoyed them. And, uh, well, that's kind of why they uh, wound up the way they were. Shane Bowler asks, What has the feedback been on the multiplayer component to Dead Space 2? Well, Shane, that's a good question. Um, to be honest, I think it's been pretty mixed. Uh, you know, I see a lot of reviews talking about how they like it. I see some talking about how maybe they didn't like it so much. But when I've been on and playing... I could tell you that I've seen a lot of people playing and a lot of people enjoying it. So if you just jump in there thinking that it's like a deathmatch, like uh, some other games, you're not going to have as much fun. You really do need to work as a team, you need to communicate, uh, and I think you'll get a lot more out of it if you do that with your friends. And uh, so in general, I think it's pretty mixed, but the people that I've played with and the people I've seen playing seem to really be having a great time with it. And hopefully you get a chance to jump in there too. Next question. Pierre Seath asks, Hello, Steve. Hey, Pierre. What's going on, man? Can we expect some more side stories, DLC like Severed, in the months to come? Well, Pierre, thanks for asking about PDLC and uh, Severed in particular. Right now, we're working hard to finish that up. As a matter of fact, we've got some new screens to show you for the first time ever. Severed focuses on the story of characters that you may have encountered in Dead Space Extraction, and that's Lexine, uh, Murdoch, and Gabe Weller. Stay tuned for that. It's coming out soon. You'll get to see kind of their exploits and adventure across the sprawl. Chad Pope. I'd like to know what's next for Visceral. Could we see Dead Space 3? Well, Chad, uh, first thing is we're working hard right now to finish up the PDLC, Severed. Uh, so that's our immediate focus. Uh, the next focus is really just soaking in the feedback uh, from Dead Space 2. And in terms of seeing another Dead Space 3, well, the best way we could hope that we get to get a chance to see Dead Space 3 is that you tell all your friends to buy Dead Space 2. As a matter of fact, go get everybody a copy of Dead Space 2 for Valentine's Day because it's, you know, it's just the gift that keeps on giving. So if you go out there, you know, tell your friends about it, get a lot of people to buy it. Um, that's the way that we really can, you know, get the support to do Dead Space 3. Uh, but, you know, you never know. So thanks a lot, Chad. Eric Musi asks, who came up with the idea for the hand cannon? Well, Eric, uh, that idea actually was from uh, Ian Milhelm, uh, our art director. He, uh, he had this idea. We were talking one day, like, what are we going to give people for, you know, defeating hardcore mode since it's going to be so freaking cool and hard to do? Uh, we need to give them a great reward. And so one day he just said, this. And I was like, well, what are you talking about, this? He's like, finger gun. 
bang, 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 pew, pew, pew. And we just thought that was super cool and super funny. So, uh, so yeah, Ian gets the credit for that one. It was a really good idea. And hopefully folks get through hardcore mode and get to play with it because it's super powerful. It's uh, fun to play with. You can run through the game and just obliterate the shit out of the Necromorphs. And it's also funny. So hopefully people get a chance to try it. So that's it for questions with Steve. Uh, this, you know, it's been really fun doing these with you guys, and I appreciate the questions. And you know, lastly, I do want to thank everybody again on behalf of the team for all the support. Um, you know, the feedback's been great from the community. Thank you. Uh, the critics seem to really enjoy the game. We're really proud of the fact that uh, we we're getting great scores. Feels like we've uh, done our goal, which is you know, deliver a worthy sequel that you know, hopefully, kind of ups the ante beyond Dead Space 1, and we're really proud of that, and we couldn't have done it without you guys and gals, and uh, thank you so much. Please, I wasn't kidding, tell your friends about the game, get them to get out there. I know some places on the East Coast have been snowed in. What would be a better gift to get somebody who's trapped inside the house than a copy of Dead Space 2? They could play it, and they could play it online with their friends, too, and, uh, you know, turn that little blizzard into a little ray of sunshine. So, hey, thanks a lot. And I uh, hope to get to talk to you guys soon. Keep the questions coming. You never know. If you want another one of these, uh, we may just, in fact, do more. So thanks a lot.